right? So it's it's rare for someone to say that they played in the World Cup, but you did. So what, how was that experience, you know, playing all those different countries and such high-level talent? Um, I'm pretty sure it was a challenge, but what was it like to play everyone like that around the world? You know, again, it's, you know, you... You know, you always dream about moments like that, right? You know, you always want to play the, the, the best competition in the world and, and see how you measure up. And, and fortunately for me, even though it was towards the tail end of my career, um, getting one chance uh, to play in the World Cup, you know, to play against the, some of the best players in the world. Um, I, was, I was extremely excited about the opportunity and, you know, I, I really enjoyed every single moment that we had in Spain. Um, you know, and, and, and fortunately, you know, the guys that we won the silver medal with in 2013, um, you know, it was the same group traveling to, to Spain for the World Cup in 2014. So, um, you know, just to be able to go through that experience with all those guys, knowing how much we'd been through and, you know, how competitive we were in Spain, um, you know, to, to be a part of putting the Philippines back on the world map um, in, in terms of basketball, which was, again, somewhere we hadn't been in a long time. Um, you know, it was very special, and uh, you know, it was, it was great to be a part of such a special group. In 2015, you were inducted into the 40 greatest players of the PBA. Mm -hmm. So, what what's that feeling like to be nominated as one of the greatest players to play in the country's top league? What, what's it like? It's humbling for sure. Um, you know, you look at the names that were on that list initially. Um, you know, the at first it was the PBA's. Uh, 25 greatest players and then they you know they made the the list for the next the next additional 15 um, you know incredibly humbling because you look at the guys who are on that list and, and what they've done for the PBA um, their success individually and, and, and probably more importantly um, what they did for their respective teams and you know to be a part of that list is special um, you know it's something that I'll be able to share you know with my kids um, and, and I know my my parents are pretty proud um, you know, to, to see their son, um, you know, make an impact uh, here in Manila. So uh, really, really special night uh, being a part of that, being a part of that ceremony. In the finals of 2016 Governor's Cup, you hit a three and it put you past Alan Kai Dick and you became the PBA's leading leader in three, in three pointers. So what was it like to, to you know, make that three and um, become part of that? history like you 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 made that shot and you look pretty focused but I want to know what's going on in your mind because you were in game but it, it, it takes a lot to to pass someone in three-pointers and become the all the all-time leading scorer in threes so what was going on in your mind you know um, you know for me Alan Kaidik is the greatest shooter that that we've ever had here in the Philippines um, you know, you look at his resume and, and what he's done for the game of basketball here. Um, you know, for me, he's still number one. So, you know, to get an opportunity, you know, in my almost 14 year career to to get the chance to, to pass him um, in, in terms of the, the three point shooting, um, a huge honor. Um, you know, again, it's, it's something that you don't consciously think about um, until you're in that moment. And sure enough, there, there I was, you know, a, a three point shot away from passing him and, you know, to be, to be able to do it, um, I think it just goes to show that, you know, not only had I been in the PBA for quite some time, but it also shows that I played with a lot of great players um, because I didn't, I didn't make those shots by myself. You know, I, I was fortunate enough throughout my career to play with a lot of great people and guys, you know, guards and, and big guys who passed me the ball uh, to give me those chances to make the shot. So, um, you know, to do it in the finals, um, you know, pretty cool. Um, and especially again, you know, that was, that was my last season. So, uh, uh, another memory that I have uh, before I walked away from the game. Dorham now with attack. Mulata Haliwa out to Jimmy. Could this be it? Yes, sir! He is the all-time three points made record holder in the PBA. That was brought to us by Opo Evones, selfie expert. What do you think my shot by Jimmy on the clock? Is that After you played with TNT, you retired and you came back out of retirement mm -hmm. and you played with Morocco and your former TNT coach, Norman Black. So what made you want to go to a team like Morocco instead of, you know, San Miguel or TNT or all those other teams? You chose Morocco, but why? 
You know, I, I just felt like Morocco was the best fit. Um, you know, obviously I had the utmost respect for Coach Norman, um, who I thought was, you know, really building something there with, with a young team. And, you know, for me, I just felt like the, the Talk and Text team was, was, moving, was moving on. Um, you know, they were looking to get younger, which, you know, you know, you have to respect because, you know, we, we can never play this game, uh, you know, for the rest of our lives. And, and we have a very small window. Um, and so I just felt like the team was moving in a different direction. And um, it made sense to, to go back. And if I had one more opportunity to play, to play for someone who I knew and respected um, and, 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 and with Coach Norman knowing, knowing me and knowing my game and, and knowing what I could still bring to the table. And at the same time, uh, joining a team that was, that was still relatively young and then to be able to um, you know, still step into a leadership role for, for those younger guys and um, you know, try to help them be as, as successful as, as, uh, as they could be. And uh, you know, it, was, it was a rough start there, um, but you know, to at least you know, make the finals um, in, in our last conference for the first time um, in, the, in the franchise's history was, was still special, especially to be with those guys. Up and under, no go. A la Pac for three. A la Pac! Uh, huge! Here he comes to save the day. And save the day. And I saw Jimmy point up just right now, basically saying, Thank you, Lord. That was a big shot for him and for his team. Scott.